it's Liz from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me today for another Simple Stamping Saturday. I hope life is treating you well today and that you're excited to see what I have made. I'm using one stamp, literally one stamp, five colours, and that's basically it. And the difference between the simple and the two stepped up versions is basically that I'm just putting more product in the two stepped up versions. So let me flip the camera down and we'll take a look. So this is the stamp set that I'm going to use. It's the Good Feelings stamp set, which are wonderful, bold sentiments. Um, and they can be the whole of the card front, particularly this one. Uh, these ones would work if you're having a landscape rather than portrait, but I'm using the Sending Sunshine and Good Feelings Your Way. Note card, basic white note card, and this is the card that I have designed for you. It's literally the five 2022 to 2024 in colours um, stamped. Now, of course, you're probably thinking, how on earth did I do the colouring? And it's easy. It's called Stampin' Right Markers, particularly because this is a red rubber stamp set. You can use your Stampin' Right Markers to be um, specific about where you put the colours. So let me show you what I mean. This is the stamp. Let's make sure we've got it the right way up. I've got my note card ready, but I'll pop that out of the way for the moment. Now, I am going to split my Orchid Oasis and my Starry Sky. They do look a little different when they're split, but when they're together, they can look as if the, the um, Orchid Oasis is just a slightly paler version of the Starry Sky. So if you split them, you don't get that problem. So using the edge of your brush tip, not the point, but the edge, you just want to come in and add ink to your stamp exactly where you want it. Now the ink will dry slowly, but it will dry. Don't worry, there is a way around that and you seasoned crafters will already be going, yeah, I know how to do that, Liz. But I like particularly for Simple Stamping Saturday to introduce new crafters to something a bit different that they may not be aware of. So we've now got our Tahitian Tide, which is a lovely colour. I really like this colour. It's so zingy. Um, it's just, oh, heaven, I'm in heaven. It's that sort of colour. You really don't want to hear me sing on a, sun, a Saturday morning. So at the point where I'm filming this, we've got really lovely weather in South Oxfordshire. By the time you see it, we have a threat of sudden downpour, thunderstorm things. So, you know, power cuts, that sort of thing are on the cards. So that's my Tahitian Tide Parakeet Party. Um, when when we got lemon lime twist back i'd always thought that lemon lime twist was bright and i compared it to parakeet party lemon lime twist isn't bright it's it's quite muted by comparison to parakeet party i like both of the colors but oh boy was i wrong to think that lemon lime twist was bright i think at the time bearing in mind it was with things like Pretty Peacock, which is also back. Um, I think it kind of felt bright. I'm trying to think what other colours were with it. My mind has gone blank. I have got a record of it, but I can't, off the top of my head, can't remember. Right, so that's our parakeet party. Now I'm doing Orchid Oasis, and I deliberately went for not the bottom. Um, because, again, I thought it might look as if it was meant to be the same colour as the colour at the top, when it clearly isn't, but popping it in the middle, uh, there's less of, an, of a desire to compare a colour that's hidden in the middle against a colour that is not. Unless that's just me, I do have a slightly odd brain when it comes to these things. So it could well be just me having a moment. 
write lots of lovely ink on there. And then finally, we've got our sweet sorbet, which is a lovely colour. It's not as bright as Poppy Parade. Are you gonna? Are you thinking I'm mad? It's got a definite t um, tint to it, rather than it being a an in-your-face red. It's got a slightly softer feel to it. I mean, it is a bright red. I'm not saying it's not, but it's not Poppy Parade. And I think it is that whiteness that you get from ice. When you chip at ice, it has that white feel. And I think that's what, that's the whole sorbet thing. Right, basic white card. The trick is to huff a lot to make sure that ink is nice and active. And then get as near to the middle of your card as you can and press hard because we've not got a huge amount of ink on there and then the moment of truth yay so that is our simple card and I know it involves a technique but it's not a difficult technique um, so I would like to think that a new crafter could have a go at that and because it's stamp and write markers you get four, five colors for not a huge price so there we are that's our card i haven't decorated the envelope just saying um although thinking about it there is quite a quick way that i could decorate it let me just grab a scrap of paper because i've had a thought now this is where the stamp's going to go so we do need to avoid that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the brush tip and I don't know if this is going to work, but let's give it a go. So we have sorbet at the bottom, then we have orchid oasis, then we have parakeet party, then we have Tahitian Tide finally we have Starry Sky so it's not a huge decoration and it is very much an afterthought but I think it works it just has a little bit of something to go with our card it gives a hint of what's inside which is basically why I decorate the outside of a card now, sorry, envelope, that's the word so my next version uses thick basic white, has got thin basic white, you know, the smooth basic white as well, um, and a multi-colour pack of the card. So it's it's one of those card collection packs. So it's the in-colour collection pack. Plus I've used the iridescent pearls. Are they called iridescent pearls? Oh no, they're just called in colour pearls. Okay, the in colour pearls, these are they. Um, so little layers of each of the colours in the same order. So Starry Sky out to Sweet Sorbet. And then a zigzag of the five pearls, odd, odd number. So I'm a happy person and it sits quite happily on its axis. And then for my final version, I've done basically the same but different so this time and this does involve technique so i've done sending sunshine and good feelings your way in white embossing on the um the colors of card which i've then popped onto a mat that is white popped it up on dimensionals and again i've got the pearls now if you look at this stamp it isn't actually possible to stamp just the word in a straight line because they're all going into each other. So I masked off the stamp, by which I mean I took low tack tape, you can use post-it note, um, and just mask masked off the bits I didn't want, inked up, removed the mask, stamped, heat embossed. Um, so it is a fiddle and it does take a bit of time, but it does look quite fun. So that is that card. So those are the three 
we've got the same treatment for these two, but this one adds more colour. And then for this one, we're doing heat embossing with white embossing powder onto the colours. And that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I will have these over on my website um, so and some information about exactly how I did it. Um, so do go and have a look at that. The link is below in the description bar. If you've got any questions or comments, you can leave those below the description bar. Let me flip the camera up. Um, let me flip. There we are. Um, so you can leave those below the description bar. I am currently, as I record this, up to date with replying to comments. I always reply to comments. Um, I think it is only polite. Uh, so I do. If you don't already subscribe, you can do that by clicking the bottom right hand, ooh, bottom right hand corner there. Um, I hope that is the right way round. Anyway, bottom right hand corner. Um, so that's how you can subscribe. And if you hit the alert bell, you'll get an email when I go live on a Tuesday morning. Um, I will be having more videos coming up. I'm doing lots of shorts at the moment, which are also on Instagram. So do remember to follow me on Instagram and indeed threads because I'm on threads as well, which is new. I must put my threads handle um, everywhere. So yes, have a fantastic rest of your weekend and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye for now.